Young World. So April 30th, I did a video talking about Naomi Judd passing away. They were saying that the cause of her death was mental health. And I said in that video, I was like, that sounds weird. Because what does that mean that your cause of death is mental health? It doesn't make sense. I was like, she either that must mean she had to take herself out or something like that, jump in front of a bus or something maybe like that. People was like, oh, no, um, mental health, you can die from dementia and stuff like that. I'm sitting here thinking that's BS either way. Now information comes out that her real cause of death was actually a gunshot wound, self-inflicted gunshot wound. But this whole thing is very sketchy. She passed away, did that on April 30th. The next day, the judges were formally inducted to the Hall of Fame, which is May 1st. April 30th and May 1st are satanic holidays. On April 30th, we got Robert Ganache, Ludman's Day, which is a blood sacrifice, animal and or human sacrifice of any age. That's the day she died. That's also Balton Eve often celebrated with a festival that includes bonfires and fertility rites greatest which is sabbath keep in mind celebrated with bonfires fertility rites uh, uh, celebrated with a, festi a festival that includes bonfire and fertility rites the next day they were being formally introduced to the hall of fame but that's Baltian day um Baltian's eve which is april 30th also the day that she passed away the next day may 1st which is the day that they were inducted to the hall of fame is also Baltian walbrook is day may day that's the official day and that just says druid fire festival coven initiations and they're being initiated into the hall of fame so think about how that sounds think about how much of a coincidence that is and the cause of her death they're saying that her daughter went to her she, she her daughter was in town in tennessee she said um when she went there she, she says every time she's in tennessee she stops by to check on her mom every day and then she says she went there and her mom said to her namely judd asked her daughter said can you stay with me so she was like yeah of course i'll stay with you because a friend came to see the mom naomi judd and when she was going back upstairs to tell her mom that her friend was here to see her. That's when she discovered her dead with a gunshot wound, a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And they keep saying firearm. They don't want to say gunshot wound. They just keep saying firearm. But that's extremely weird. Cause, and she said her mom has been in severe mental health for a long time. Why would there be a person in that, at that age and state of mind have the ability to have access to a gun in their vicinity? Wouldn't her house, wouldn't, wouldn't you think her family would have ridded her, the home of any type of firearms or anything like that? That she can self-inflict herself with? You know what I mean? I know this sounds bad or whatever, like the family hear this, but, but it's like, this is too much of a coincidence, all these things adding up. Then if you got Naomi Judd dead gives you 51 and Naomi Judd death gives you 51. It was like 5-1 for the Hall of Fame initiation, which was the next day. Also, if you just type in her name by itself, it gives you 111, which is her birthday, January 11th. Anytime these deaths happen, you gotta consider the day that the person died and when the news comes out. Usually that's the next day or within the next couple of days at certain dates, you know what I mean? But her information did come out on the 30th, the same day that she died. So this whole thing is super, super suspicious. And she's going to do that right before, the day before the Hall of Fame. This whole thing is crazy.